the game in my parvo Then my dad will still ring the alarm Cause you know I got a bag of flows packed in my cargo I got a bag of bars taking up headspace That's probably why man's a head case So far ahead that I'm running some next race I don't need to pick it up bro cause I set pace Don't need to keep up bro cause I'm grafting Keep it real in my bars I'm not acting Ain't got time to waste lay back relaxing Clash against ice and you leave in a casket In fact you won't leave cause I'm berry man Bring the flames like a cane with a jerry can Bring the flames like a cane with a matches Clash against ice and you know that terror man Hear that it's me then you know that it's breeze from my head to the bones of my feet Fucks all painting sober for weeks I see, ain't nobody colder than me Ain't nobody gritty like this I see, leave the beat frost bitten like this Don't dare ask me for a bit of my spliff I'll grind till my watch won't fit on my wrist I'll grind till I make my way out of this dead town Grind till the chain round my neck weighs my head down Shell on track, everybody best get down Grind till the whip makes man turn the head round Grind till the whip makes man snap the neck back Won't catch none of my G's on a dead track Keep moving, I won't stop at no setbacks Told man, I was gonna hop on my chair that was Ambitious Moving. Big shout out to Ambitious from Oldham, sick track. So go check out that video. You're tuned into Royce You've Got Child, City of Liverpool online radio station. I got my guy here. Goes by the name of Paul Clarky Clark. You good me? Yeah, I'm all good to know, Royce. Good to be here. Yeah, great to be here. Right. So, do you want to get these questions going yeah, for me? Okay. Let's get started. So, um, first question obviously is um, I've heard a little bit about yourself and what you've been doing with your music and that's so. all. Obviously, where did you find your passion to, you know, keep, to keep doing music and, and keep doing what you do? Yeah, um, I'd say the passion it started off in the, like, when I was young. Kind of, well, it's, it's kept me going. I say when I'm making these songs and like I'm here and I'm thinking, oh, that's brilliant. That I like that myself. And then what I do, I go out live and I see the feedback just from the audience enjoying what I've made. I just want to jump in, I just want to jump in yeah, and yeah, yeah, quick yeah. up, because I, I know he does loads of live music, because it's not just events and shows, I've seen him down in West Harvey and in like pubs and yeah. open mics, yeah, and yeah. you just like to get about, don't you? Yeah, and yeah, get your name about and perform yeah, and that. Yeah, that's so. what I want to do, about to get my name out, and when I'm gigging, it's this more once more, when you come off stage, and like, wow, that adrenaline rush that you get, it's, 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 it's amazing, the feeling, and uh, the atmosphere, you can see that change, and if you put on that performance, and the audience it, it absorbs all that energy that you're pouring out, and then the songs and all that, they, they get elevated, and that's, like, you come back, and you're, off the, you're on this big high, you're like, wow, like, like this, and that's where the more once more. I know we get to high as well though, because at one event that I've seen you, you actually started doing push-ups yeah. at the event. <laughs> Halfway three <three-month>. months. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway three months. Yeah. 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 The whole crowd is just like, what's going on here? You started doing push-ups. Oh oh my my yeah. And everyone, like, it was entertaining. I'd say, yeah. I'd say, the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, obviously, I know you're just getting back into music, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's been like the past few months that you're just getting back in, and that's all. Mm. You know what? What stopped you from, um, you know, progressing? Because I know that you've you've been doing music a long time, been doing yeah. it since you were a kid. Mm, yeah. But um, you stopped for a bit, so tell us a little bit. Um, actually, the yeah, but I let myself be distracted. But I think what I need to do more is focus myself more into the music and get them out because there's people mm. that want to listen to me so when they're listening to me they're expecting these songs but they're not getting that if I'm too wrapped up in something else that that's other than music yeah and I can't and you know I think we all like we can all get like losing control of some things but what I'm doing now I'm focusing more of the music get, I'm making an album like um, starting from today day, I'm doing the first recording which is the black Egg. and uh, I'm just gonna stay focused, no distractions, mm. and just gonna just pull a hundred percent in. Yeah. But what what has been distracting you? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, I know that you've faced hard times, haven't you? And yeah, I have. Um, I've went through quite a few stumbles in my life. And yeah. I could I could go back to into my teens, to, to progression to now. Like in my teens, I lost my mother, and I'd never written a song yeah. before that, and it was the day after. Mm. I just came to uh, write, picked up the pen, paper and, and the pen, started writing. Before I know it, I had the song in front yeah, yeah. of me. I was like, wow, how do I do that? And then this, this um, thing kicked in again because it's all about passion. Passion yeah, yeah. just comes through. So I started writing, you know, suffering from a mental breakdown. I was seeing it and what, what happened with the mother. And, um, I wasn't really too focused as what was going on was jogging what I could have done in front of me with this, what I've been writing, so I could skip it through that now. I got like, um, I became addicted to drugs, class A drugs oh, and nice. alcohol, and nothing was in front of me, nothing at all, nothing. So 
um, I wasn't in a good place. I wasn't in a frame of mind of myself to, to really have the passion to allow yeah. myself to write and anything like that. So it was there, it was always in the back of my mind to say, Oh yeah, I wanna to go to the studio, I wanna to go to the studio, the studio, that never happened because the money got spent on, on the drugs and on the drink in the studio, I'd be more depressed and I was thinking, well, I'm never gonna do this. So I did come and I come heavy into the addiction and this time nothing was getting done. I wasn't looking well, I had no clothes, my shoes were falling apart, it was just it was death on two legs and I did end up in hospital because of that. Now inside the um, secure unit hospital. I just want to say as well, this sounds heavy bro, like literally like yeah. what you're saying, I can totally appreciate and feel yeah. where you're coming from. But so. uh, yeah, um, well, coming out of it, I wanted to say, it was like, while I was in there, mm. I thought my life fell, fell to part, it fell to pieces now. So I picked up the pieces and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this music, I'm going to do this music and I'll come into uh, come my house, into the family home. Fell out and my dad's goes into a shared accommodation and I was a key worker in there. He, was, he, he did hear me he was, um, rapping and he, he said the, the, the residents have been hearing you rapping and I thought oh, I've got complaints in against me and all like that. I said I, I lower it down and I started you know and said no we like it, we like it, I like it, I like it and all that I said nice man. So he said um, there's an organisation that you match the criteria that mm -hmm. I know and I can get you reco um, recording studio time in for free but all you've got to do is just stay off these drink and, and, and the drugs and all that. I said well I'm all right, well that's good. I would be moved into an organisation which I did start working volunteer for, which I won't be able to uh, disclose the name, it's, it's all confidential. Name or, no, no yeah. names that uh, get disclosed, it's confidentiality still. And um, I recorded a song called uh, The Perpetual Rebound, yeah. um, which was written in 2007, and now I've started recording, say 2012, so all these years later. I don't know what, why it came, because I was. I just wrote this song years ago and it was thrown at me to record there and then I thought oh, I haven't wrote nothing now, I haven't wrote nothing like that I think it's for the quality of recording because yeah, yeah. as I say when I was writing and all that I never had once thought I would do studio stuff because that yeah. was a hobby mm. so I think this perpetual rebound came came in my mind and said yeah I said this yeah, the, 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 the got on the mix I started making um, the instrumental for it for an it as an instrumental yeah, I started recording so we record that, the uh, time comes through uh, to like, I'm just going to <laughs> Man, she's getting dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm hot stuff, mate. I'm hot stuff, you know what I mean? I'm thirsty, I'm, you know, that's just me, thirsty for it. But uh, yeah, as I, as I say, I got this, I got the songs all done and recorded, started watching it grow. Still growing, but wow, what's going on here? Mm. So I was thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm in the right place in, like, with my mind and all that, so. I said, I've done um, another song that started growing. So I was thinking, go out, get out. So I started Googling on it. Where can I go now? So now there was a place, it's Dry Bar, which is it's not no longer gone no more. Um, for people with addictions and the younger people who wanted to say, how to go and then display the talents, which is a lot of creati creati creativity goes in, in the blink there at that time. And so it was great. And, um, uh, when it comes to it, um, I sat down, there was a girl, she said, she walked up to me, she went, we you sign your name? I said, what? And she went, sign your name on this paper? And I said, all right, so I just put my name and I thought like that. But then it was one of my mates, turned around to me, he said, you know what, you just signed an autograph there. And I went, an autograph? Nah, not me, I've been probably just whatever, messing about. So but future the, keeper, I'm going to start doing that with everyone I book, you know, <laughs> sign that so we can sell that in 10 years for free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so, so it was like that, I was, I was, I was in a new world. So this past life of drinking drugs and, and depression was behind me, past, it's in the past, I was thinking, you know what, I'm on the right road now. And that, with the passion, is, is, is to stay in it. And the, so I'm bro, just I, I, I think that's an amazing story, bro. The fact that, you know, you've come from all that to come through, you know, I can see now you've got new clothes from no clothes. That's a, a massive yeah. achievement, you know what I mean? You're yeah, looking yeah, smart, you yeah. know what I mean? He's <laughs> off the drugs. It's full of, it, it, it just shows you that, you know, you put your mind to it, that you can do this, you know what I mean? So if there's anyone out there that has got depression, um, you are on drugs, you know, you can get off them. There's places that will help you out as well. So look out for them, you know what I'm saying? But um, do loads of live performances. I want to show a little live. Reading love stories, is that I do, I'm the stunt to fight a life beside you, before my dreams, I'm behind you, just believe in fate, baby.
inside me So all my life, I'm trying to find you I'm a soul, find your soul I won't let you go I want to keep you close, don't be cold So you know, have to touch, I'm trying to get to the heart Let you go Twice at the time, I'm ready To hold you in my arms, it's a pleasure I hate letting you go I wish that was never, I could hold you forever It's you and me together, be back to story weapon It's you and me together, right through all the lives It's you and me together, it's time to end time We can break down with every way It's you now, okay, we're we'll only get better SoundCloud as well. You know what I say about SoundCloud? Like, oh, SoundCloud. <laughs> but yeah, check that out. Um, just want to talk a little bit about um, the new project that you've got going on. It's called uh, So So Far So Close. Yeah, is so it? Far, yeah. So Close. So, tell us a little bit about this stuff. What's going on? Uh, with it? So Far So Close. It's 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 going to be my first full album. Which I've got the EPs, but this is the first full album I'm doing. Which is more towards the dance side of it, and the first song which I'm going to be recording to, um, today, in fact, it is called The Blagger. And I think we've all got the. I what a name, The Blagger. The well, blagger. Hey, it's not about me. We've, we've all got The Blagger in us, because <laughs> yeah. you know, we, we've all got The Blagger, we know Blaggers, because The Blagger, yeah. uh, it's based in this song, was what I was doing, I split up with my girlfriend. Here we go. And um, I was just blagging and I was happy because it was really like, yeah. down in the dumps, and like, I just started like, going out and. It looks on the pictures that they, they say it picture says a thousand words, but it's just not deceiving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I, so I, 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 was, I was out there, I, I weren't really interested in to move on to, to anyone, but I was thinking, you know what, I'm, gonna look, I'm living that life, you know, it's going to be all right. Why you got a yeah. suit on? So I, I, was, I, was going, I was going up to these girls, was talking to them, and then I got the phone numbers, but I weren't saving them, but I'd be getting pictures with them. And, and, and I'd be like that, and it looks like I'm, I'm moving on, and it doesn't look like that I was so <laughs> unhappy that it was. But I like, oh, everyone, everyone was messaging me on Facebook, saying, Is that you new girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, if anyone wants to be a blagger with me, spell it. Okay, message me, get on me on uh, Facebook, Paul Clark, and we can all be blaggers. We are blaggers. Just want to shout out, just want to shout out, Chase in the building. Yeah. Hey, 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 don't say this story affects me, please. Uh, me, me and Chase, we're going to go out tonight and we're going to get our phones and just stand next to people and go, wife, hashtag wifey. Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I've just been speaking to man in the building and uh, we're talking about networking as well. Um, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it, but I've actually got a sick list for networking. Um, number one, always tell everybody what you do, right? And what this means is not just other artists, but actual people who don't do music, right? Because you could bump into someone, say for instance, I don't know, someone called Francine, yeah? At a bar, you start talking, yeah, she doesn't do music, but you say, oh, I'm a rapper, or oh, I'm a producer, or whatever, oh, are you? My little nephew, he's just done whatever video, or done whatever song, or he's working with Wiley, or he's working with Jennifer Lopez, oh, are you, yeah? Boom, contact, number, get me through, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. So, so that's the first one, always tell everyone. Um, I know a few people, new artists as well, they always feel a little bit ashamed to tell other people that they're an artist and they do music. That That's just natural, you know what I'm saying? But don't be ashamed, just tell everyone, I'm an artist, I'm a rapper, I'm a singer. And you know, they, they, someone always knows someone. So that's the sick list number one. Um, two, um, what was it? Right, number two, always reach out to other artists as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, if you reach out to someone for a collab or a feature, and then and they blank you because sometimes artists have egos, you see. So if they blank you, don't take it personal. Just move on and get a collab or a feature from someone else. 
know what I mean? Delete them, delete them from Facebook, don't even But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> delete. <laughs> or always reach out to artists, <laughs> see if they want to collab. If they're too busy or they don't, that's fine. Move on to someone else, okay? Um, three, always offer advice because you're always going to know something that someone else doesn't know, mm -hmm. regardless of it, whether you're new or being existing for a very long time. So always offer advice because if, if someone's struggling with something and you can offer them advice well then that's networking because now you sort of come to a friendship over something that someone was struggling with okay and people always like people that can help and people who help always like to help people you know what i'm saying so that's networking um other thing as well be at places that you said you was going to be okay so if you're at an event or you're meant to be on radio or you're meant to be at a festival or something like that if you're not there just think of all the contacts and networking that you've lost. You know what I mean? If there's like eight artists performing at, at an event, that's eight networking opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, the last one is always a good one. Promote other people's music as well. You know what I mean? So if I dropped a new single and um, you promote my music and I see that, I, I, I automatically understand that you're an ally. Yeah, so when you approach me, I'll be more... Um, more heartwarming towards what you're saying, mm -hmm. so if you're, and, and, and I'll be more honest with how, whether I would or would not want to record with you. You know what I mean? So that's the sick list. Okay, boom, networking. Um, just want to talk as well about advertising. I know you spoke yeah. to me before, yeah. just saying about the best ways for advertising. Now, um, if you've got a new single out, get your music video done. Um, you need to advertise, or otherwise you're going to do it all on yourself on social media. So these hip hop blogs, these hip hop websites, dance websites, music websites, indie websites. You need to get in touch with them all. Um, you need to find out how much it is because it's always going to cost when you're advertising. It will cost some is cheap, some is more expensive. If it's more expensive, it means you're going to get more for your money as well. Okay, so reach out to them. Find out. Get your kind of like a budget. quarter page or a full page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a magazine, um, you know, depending on if it's a magazine that's got a ten thousand distribution, it's probably going to cost you ninety nine pounds yeah. to get a full page in there with uh, interview and all that type of thing. So, um, just look into that. Just what I suggest is when you do do your single, don't spend it all on studio. Three hours in the studio and keep the rest of your money for advertising if you can. Okay. So um, another thing as well, I want to talk to you about this. Um, I've seen this before. I've, I've had an experience over the weekend with it as well. Um, Eminem, love mm -hmm. Eminem. We all love Eminem. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, he was performed in Scotland at the weekend, yeah. and uh, he forgot Stan, didn't he? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> His performance, yeah. Stan, legendary song. We all know Stan. Forgot the lyrics. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> forgot the lyrics to Stan, oh. but. What I want to say, in all fairness to him, like a legend he is, didn't panic, didn't do anything. He just turned around to the DJ and said, pull that back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. As simple as that. I forgot the lyrics. I know I forgot the lyrics. I can't remember the lyrics. Pull it back. We do it again. Job sorted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But Class. I see uh, nights that I put on, if someone forgets the lyrics or, 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 or they mess up a vocal or anything like that, especially singers, they fall to bits. Mm -hmm. Like it, 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 the world crashes down on the shoulders. So, from Eminem, the Eminems just give everyone advice there. I think, and the advice is, if you do mess up, just get them to pull it back and go again, recorrect it. Simple as. So, that's as a pro, does it? You know mm. what I'm saying? But um, I got one more, one more song to show. Um, this is Pro Pittman from Wisconsin, and um, the song is called Breathe. Obviously not fabulous, we love that song, Fabulous Breathe, yeah, that's one of the sickest tunes of all time. But this is Pro Pittman from Wisconsin. Take a look through my eyes, homie, and see the pain. Walk a mile in my shoes, homie, you need a cane. I talk to myself, myself talks back, a whole conversation ensues. There's something wrong with that. Maybe I should take a second, try to relax and chill. But then I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna take a stack of pills and see how that feels. Extreme ways of solving problems. My mind's elevated, but my heart is at the bottom. Realization it can bring you to your knees, screaming, please, I don't know what to do. Maybe I just need to breathe. I swear it's like sometimes I'm holding my breath. I just need to breathe. Maybe I just need to breathe. I'm 
keep trying. Keep it together. Long term mentality, yeah. Shout out to Solar. Curtis Lowe's grandchild, tuning up my dough, bro. I'm on the verge of losing it, and you don't even know. So, pain stays in my eyes, you can see it in my photos. That's why I rock shades until the day's gone. Swinging in the devil's playground with these drugs is my liaison. Thanks to Paul for coming on today. Thank you, bro. Thanks for telling Thanks us your story. Yes. Um, you've been tuned into Royce Rothschild, City of Liverpool online radio station. Do check out the other episodes. The Shakedown. The Shakedown. We're shaking the trees of knowledge. Big shout out to Chase. We've got Ty Rich in the building. Yeah, man. Peace.